I feel that school and attending school should be, especially at the postgraduate level, should be something that is intentional and is supposed to drive towards a goal. Hello everyone, my name is Yvonne and I am one of the CanGap ambassadors this year. Kind of wanted to give a brief introduction to who I am and my story and kind of what led me to take a gap year. So originally I did most of my schooling actually within Canada, although I'm from Nigeria, I was born and raised there for a bit before moving to Canada. So I spent most of my time within, I guess like a Canadian school system. I schooled in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and then moved to Montreal for my university program. So up until university, I'd always just kept going from, I guess, one class to another. It didn't take a pause, especially even between high school and university. So after finishing my first degree at McGill um, in economics and kinesiology, I, I decided to take a gap year before sort of committing to a master's or any professional postgraduate studies, which I knew I wanted to do. I wanted to just take that time to, I guess, take a breather, gain some work experience, network, and kind of take myself out of the system that I was used to. So after I graduated last year, I moved back home to Nigeria and spent the entire year there working and getting to network and meet different people. And that's kind of what I want to share my experience on as one of the Akan Gap ambassadors on some of the lessons and the experiences that I gained in kind of pausing for academia for a second and just kind of going into the real world, I would say. Um, so look forward to my videos describing what it's like living in Nigeria, what it's like um, just kind of taking that year and some of the challenges that I faced, especially being so used to school and having to work full time for the first time. So just talking about those experiences, um, I think will definitely bring a lot of insight to how to best utilize your gap year and I guess what mistakes to avoid that I'd made in, in terms of like organizing myself and also how to just manage your mental well-being and just make sure that you're taking care of yourself because um, when you're not in school and you're not forced into a routine it's easy to just kind of let things fall through and it's very important to keep a consistent schedule so I hope to share more on my experiences on how to stay organized how I just kind of maintain a balance during my gap year. I feel that school and attending school should be, especially at the postgraduate level, should be something that is intentional and is supposed to drive towards a goal. So I think it's very important to sometimes pause to identify what you're passionate about and where your interests lie so that you could use academia or school as a sex, as a sort of a, a way to drive to achieve your goals not so much as something that you have to do because that's the way it's always have been so currently now i'm back in montreal i'm working and i'm preparing for my applications for medical school which require me to take some prerequisite courses that i hadn't taken before so I have a very interesting schedule this fall period where I'm in school, but not full time. I'm just taking three courses and I'm also working as well. So I think there's also some insight that I can share on creating that school work balance and also just setting time aside for yourself as well. I'm really excited to share more of my experiences and hopefully meet some of the, the gappers this year and connect with you guys online on the different platforms so um, you can stay caught up with what of what I'm doing on my LinkedIn and also my Instagram as well, which is all linked in the, in, in the description below. So thank you so much for checking in on my first video and I hope to connect with you guys in the next one. This video is proudly sponsored by the Canadian Gap Year Association, which provides resources and support for students and parents with children taking a gap year. You can learn more about them by visiting cangap.ca. On the website, you can access their many resources, and one I would recommend is their planning tool. As I mentioned, taking a gap year should be intentional, so check out their planning tool for help setting goals and clear directives on achieving them, or simply just to learn more about taking a gap year. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.